before God, you have to open your heart up. Because listen, watch this. Now let me flip the script for a second. We can't help you be restored if you don't want it. Now, if you just want to be a fool, snip, snip, go be a fool. And when you fall, I'll come back and grab you. When, when, you, when you make it to your pig, your pig pen, your loader bar, right. I'll be right there to help find you. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is supposed to do. I'll find you in your loader bar. I'll find you in your place and restore you. But now, I ain't got to tolerate you after the phone. Uh-huh. That's fine. Let's flip back to the church now. That's for the rebellious spirits in the house. It's okay. <laughs> Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a what? A fault. A sin. He misses the mark. If he misses the mark, ye which are spiritual. It's two of us trying to restore people through our flesh. It's two people trying to hold people to standards that we don't live ourselves. Okay, so 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 your child got on drugs. It's never been a part of this family. That your child, your child robbed somebody, shot somebody, whatever, whatever the sin is. Your best friend lied on you. Whatever, whatever the sin is, whatever the sin is, whatever it is. Did you consider that God has given you an opportunity for spiritual growth? Because He wants you that are spiritual to handle this. Would you consider that the reason God is putting it at your feet is to give you opportunity to mature? Because guess what? If you've never gotten behind the wheel of the car and driven it, you can't drive. You can read the book, take the test, and not get behind the wheel, and you still can't drive. There's an examination that has to take place. There's a point where God has to put it in your face and say, deal with it. Could it be he's trying to mature you for a greater work? And the only way he can mature you is to let it come in your household? Now, now <laughs> you know, when you were young and you had no children, you talked about everybody else's house when they were going but you got all these has of children, not some stuff coming to your house, right. and you're trying to hide it now. Right. You want to cover everybody else, but when they hit your house, you cover it. We don't do it. We don't talk about that. What? I know, I know. We can't be religious so religious that we don't think about restoring people. We've got to touch lives. It's more important, he says, ye that are spiritual, that which flow. He says, restore such a one in a spirit of what? Meekness. Come on now. You, know, Ugh, this, you gotta help me here because see, this bothers me. Do you know? Let me, let, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take a test. We're gonna take a one question test. Single question. <laughs> so you're gonna pass a fail with this one answer. You're gonna pass a fail. Look at your neighbor telling you you're gonna pass a fail right here. Oh, this one, this is a pass or fail. This ain't no, you can't get 50% of this, but it's one question. One question. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Did you know you were wrong when you were wrong? Yes. No, let me, let me, let me ask you one, one, one more time. Did you know you were wrong when you did wrong? Yes. So why then, why then, now let's come back to church for a second. Why then are we so busy telling folk that they wrong when they already know they wrong? Oh. Why, don't, why don't we take a little bit, a little bit more godly approach and start this, watch this, demonstrating right so they can see right. We're too busy monitoring and not ministering out in our own walk. He said, you got to come with a spirit of meekness. You got to humble yourself. See, we want to get in both face. You wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all we we, we want to get out. We, we don't just want our Bible. We want our large print Bible. You know, the heavy one, the big one you got to hold with both hands. The one on grandma's kitchen table. The one that was on, you know, the one on the 
years from yeah, they've been passing yeah, down to the family for 50 yeah. years. You don't want them to fuck with that bottle and crack across their head. Yes. Why do I have to convict you when you're under conviction? And can I, can, I, can, I, can I tell you this? That's the Holy Spirit's job anyway. You meddling this stuff, you ain't got nothing in this meddling. Because this, watch this, watch this. When you come to them after the fool, you help them harden their heart even against God. Why don't you love them through it? Love them through it. But we so, we, we want to pull out the big one and just smash them like cockroaches. Just right. I wonder what grace did for you. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, so they got called. You got away with it. Right. But let me ask you this question. Here's another pass and fail question. What did God see? <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't talking about what mama found out, or dad found out, or your spouse found out. I said, what did God see? What did God see? Because ultimately, he's going to be the righteous judge. That's it! So while we're sitting there looking at folks, because we were slick enough, sly enough, not to get caught, don't mean we ain't got no sin. What it really means is we're really more cunning. That means we got another spirit that's more deceptive than the next man. Because they did it and couldn't lie good enough. You did it and you lied your way through it. Oh, that's a whole different look at it. Uh -huh. You thought you were slick, but you just was a better liar.
and lift you back to a place. We've got to do this. We've got to learn how to restore. We've got to learn how to keep, how to protect. Now here it is. Here's the final statement of the day. Back in 2 Corinthians 7, and I'm getting out of this. Maybe back to it next Sunday, so if you don't want to hear it, don't come to church. <laughs> Some of y'all think I'm crazy, but I don't care about the money. I really don't. But if you want your life to be better, Amen. let's walk in the Word of God. Amen. It's all good, I promise you. I love you. You love me. But we got to deal with this stuff. Come here, I need, I need Leslie, come here, Leslie. LeBron, come here. I need some strong, strong. Come in there. Y'all let me work my demonstration. You know my demonstration. Come here, The Bible says, turn and face one another. Face one another. Come on, come, come closer. You gotta come closer to this one. Come closer. You gotta come closer to this one. The Bible says that in, 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 in that second Corinthians passage that, that we are confident with the same consolation. Uh-huh. And the, those two words there are the paracaleo, paracalesis and the paracaleo. You, you, you have to be full of the spirit to help carry burdens. Watch this. I told them on the call a few weeks ago that, that, that when I was in the military, they taught us how to help the wounded. Step back for a second. Then I'm going to show you how to do it. I can't live because, you know, i got to preach later down. I'm going to throw that out. I'm going to take care of this for a minute. Okay. Hold your arms out like this. They taught us, grab my arms, grab all tight, grab all tight, dip, dip this arm down so. Squat at the knee. Squat at the knee. Come on, squat down. 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 Come on, squat Squat down. Get this under his leg. Come on, get this get down under his leg. They, they got to fall back, Rico. Fall back, Rico. Hold it. Now lift up. Now watch this. Watch this. Drop your legs down, Rico. You got some nice socks on, Rico. Watch this. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It's difficult for one man to hold him. But if you get some agreement that we don't help people and we link hold in the spirit, we'll be able to carry her. When you grab them, stay right there. You take them from danger to safety. Put it down. Put it down. Let me see that one. There you go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now watch this. Here's the beauty of it. When you help restore the wounded, you get to experience the place of restoration. We're not here to gossip. We ain't, we ain't gonna talk about it. What we're gonna do is pray. And we grab them and we bring them to the blessed restoration. Then we get to celebrate with them when they come on. Come on, take your seat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you know what it does? Doesn't put too much weight on me. Don't put too much weight on you. But we get to carry them to a place of restoration. Let's stand down. Let's stand to our feet. Let's pray.